So here we have the well. It's about 370 feet deep. There's a pump down there. And when we fire up the generator, we run power over here and it runs the well and brings the water up to these pipes and go underground over to the storage tank. The water then fills up this tank. It's 3,000 gallons when it's full to the top. And then the water goes underground over to the RV. There's a shutoff here. And I have wood chips down in there. They work as a insulation. Uh, when we have uh, below freeze temps, uh, wood chips as they decay, they actually give off a little bit of heat, so they keep the pipes from freezing. So the water comes over here to this underground box and goes to this 12-volt uh, pressure pump and through a little sediment filter. So I ran the supply hose underground and it comes out of the ground right here and I have it insulated going up and that's our water supply. My battery system is comprised of 6 volt AGM golf cart batteries that are wired in series to make 12 volts and then each pair of 6 volt batteries are then wired in parallel to supply 12 volts to the RV. So I've just connected uh, two more batteries. I keep them in ice chests with the wood chips around them to keep them from getting damaged in the freeze weather. So I now have eight batteries at 220 amp hours each for a total of 1,760 amp hours. The solar panels on the roof charge the batteries. When it's sunny, I'm getting about 900 watts. It charges the batteries up pretty quickly in the morning and we run everything off solar um, all our computers our charging our phones our electric uh, mattress pad heaters TV satellite internet microwave everything but the air conditioner and we run the generator for that it's a little bit cloudy outside we're still pulling in 560 watts. I'm at 12.6 volts and I'm running that commercial ice maker right now. buried a cable from the generator over to a power center 
we can run things like the well, uh, air conditioner, things like that. I've learned to keep a supply of fuel. They do run out in town. During the last big snow, it was hard to find propane for three weeks. That's okay. Eric can fix anything.